don't forget to wear your headphones. Good. And remember to keep your feet apart. You're gonna bust your ass if you stand like that. Good morning, Samson. What have you brought me today? Mm, they'll do nicely. Where'd you find one this... strong looking? <laughs> Excuse me? From the castle prison? A thief? Samson, let me ask you a question. Do I look like I'm running a halfway house here? What makes you think that I... Victor. Victor said that? Did he now? I'll kill him. Never play cards with that man. He'll ruin your goddamn life. Fine. Hand them over. Looks like you're mine now, recruit. Welcome to the Fighters Guild. Hell, rather. Or at least it will be, until you prove yourself. Giving me attitude already. You're gonna fit in just fine. You should show a little more gratitude. You could have been given the noose. You know what they do to thieves around here? They're not as kind as they are in other places. Come on then. Let me show you around. Why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself? I'm sure we'll be seeing a lot more of each other. Hmm. What exactly did you steal? He said wanted thief. I assume it was quite a lot. Really now? Robin Hood-esque. Guess you're not all bad. But thievery is still thievery, and will not be tolerated in the guild. I'm sure you don't want to have to come to my office to answer for that. This here is where you'll be staying. All the beds are quite close together, but you'll get used to it. These will be your guildmates, your brothers and sisters from now on. Treat them like family, and you'll find that they're not all bad. This corridor here leads to the dining hall. Right, not left. Yes, the left wing is still in repair. Had a few recruits uh, twist an ankle or two. But don't worry. Just remember right and not left, and uh, I'm sure you'll be fine. Now, down this set of stairs here are the kitchens. Rebecca is the head chef. You might find she's quite nice. If you help her out with chores, you might even end up getting a few extra servings at supper time. Uh, but you didn't hear it from me. <sighs> what else? <clears throat> of course, the armory is in the cellar. Swords, weapons, anything you need for sparring and training and missions. Though, you won't be going out on any contracts anytime soon. Not at least until we make sure you're fully prepared. Can't just send you out to die, after all. 
Do you actually know anything about the Fighters Guild? I see. Well, it's... Hmm. I won't say mercenaries, but we get contracts to keep the peace. Hmm. Security jobs, clearing out caves, that sort of thing. It's not too hard, but it's good work. Mm. You didn't seem to like the living space. Who knows? If you rise high enough in rank, you'll get your own chamber. Don't worry. Why the long face? Look at me. Do you think Victor just releases prisoners willy-nilly? No. Whatever he is, he's a good man. A smart man. And he saw something in you. And whatever that is, I trust it. I may not trust you, but... At least I know you're not completely good for nothing. He wouldn't just dump someone like... Hmm. The point is... You don't have to tell anyone about the thievery. Hell, I won't mention it if you don't want me to. You just get your jobs done. And make us look good. That's your role here. We'll keep you fed and safe. And keep the guards from dragging you to the chopping block. You work for us now. That means something. Good. I want to see you up bright and early tomorrow. We're training first thing, do you hear me? So you do speak, and that's good to hear. Though, speaking isn't exactly part of the job. As long as you can handle yourself out there, that's all that really matters. But making friends wouldn't hurt. It's good to know you've got comrades who've got your back out there when you need them. Right. Well, is there anything else? Any questions? Mm. How long has it been? Five years I've been here? Oh, of course I wasn't the first pick. But... I'm Guildmaster anyways. It's a story for another time, though. I'm afraid it's not a very happy one. <laughs> yes. I am quite young to be a Guildmaster, but... <sighs> I know my stuff. He didn't tell you my name. <sighs> I'm Maria. Last name doesn't matter. You don't even need to call me by my first name. You'll earn that when you rise in rank. Hear me? I can tell I don't need to be as tough on you as I am the others. Just don't make any trouble for me, and we'll get along fine. Now, you should head back. Go meet your fellow guildmates. Make friends. You're not going anywhere anytime soon. Uh, not unless you want to lose your head. That wasn't a joke. Um, sorry. Didn't mean to scare you, but... Well, 
You're a wanted thief, after all. And if you're not here redeeming yourself and doing some good work for the people of this community, well, you're simply robbing from them. Go on. Tell me I'm wrong. I didn't think so. We're having porridge tonight. And I think the lads hunted some venison the other day. It's been cured and everything. We might have some of that. Maybe you should go help Rebecca with the chores. You look like you could use a nice warm meal and a good bed to sleep in. I'm sure your journey here hasn't been easy. If you need anything, my office is upstairs. Just don't bother me with stupid things. I'm a busy woman.